we are in the webinar room. We're starting to see the people are piling in. We have myself, Diane Hockman. I have Debbie Halbrook and I have Tina Guimar. And D Tina, how do you say your last name right? It's Guimar. Guimar. I knew I was saying it wrong when it came out of my mouth. That's okay. <laughs> it's wrong, but it's right. Now, T Tina's my neighbor. She's over in Rhode Island. Debbie, where are you? And you guys can leave yourself unmuted. It's just easier to, instead of doing it, muting and unmuting. Where, where are you? I'm in North Texas. North about, Texas. About an hour and a half north of Dallas. Okay, Texas is so big, it has to have sections. <laughs> Not Rhode Island and Connecticut where we live. I wanna welcome everybody. Say, let, let's take a look at the uh, people that are coming on in the chat and see who is here. They're scrolling by, okay, let's see. Uh, ooh, ooh, Anne, Sue, Greg, Kim, Miss Ward, hello. Ms. Hall, hello. Merry Christmas, belated. Dina Solomon, Dina, I love you and you were amazing. Marla, Michael, if I miss anybody, it's not on purpose. It's because I'm trying to do the best I can to scroll. Glassy, hello, hello, Tanya. Hello, hello, hello. Sarah, Dr. Meltz is in the house. Christina, hello. Trish, hello, hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Mr. Williams, hello. Hi. So Karen, everybody. Uh, Vicki is here for the first time. Welcome, Vicki. Um, first thing I want to do, and there's so many messages, you guys can, uh, you can check them out. Let me know if there's anything significant going on and we'll get into the Q and A in a little bit, but first of all, I want to welcome everybody. This is the My Lead System Pro Wednesday webinar. We have been doing these webinars every Wednesday night, barring Wednesday falling on a holiday. So like if Wednesday was Christmas, we didn't do one, I'll admit it, but for 14 years. And uh, Brian always says that in internet years, internet years are like dog years. <laughs> so 14 years in internet years is like forever. It's like a century. So we've been here 14 years, you know, week in, week out, teaching all kinds of exciting marketing tactics and topics and everything from classic fundamental skills to incredibly cutting edge brand new stuff. So I'm super excited because, uh, our founders are with their families tonight. Uh, Brian and Jim have the family. And of course, Jim has a beautiful little daughter now. So everybody's excited. It's She's one year old and it's her first Christmas or actually it's not her first Christmas because she was born before Christmas, but it's her second Christmas at the first one that she's able to get around and, and their parents are in. And Brian texted me and he said, hey, do you want to do Wednesday night? And I said, do I want to do Wednesday night? I want to do Wednesday night. And then I put a shout out like an hour and a half ago. And I said, hey, who wants to come play with me? And Tina and Debbie both raised their hands and jumped around and, uh, and said, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. So Tina and I have met personally. Debbie, you and I have met in person though. How, how we, we have, no, not at a Live the Dream or anything? Not in no. person, no. We have not to soon, we have to soon. Uh, in 2022, 2022. I used to get to Dallas all the time uh, to visit my dear friend, Lisa Grossman, but with COVID and the travel and the stuff, and then she's been hanging out in Arkansas. I haven't been down there in a little while. So uh, next time I get to Dallas, I'll drive halfway. You drive halfway. We'll get together. It'll be fun. So a couple okay. of announcements, and then we're going to roll into, I have a really good training. And the reason why I brought these ladies out is because, one, um, I tend to get excited. And I need a couple people here to go slow it down or fast it up or what about this? Or did you ever think about that? So these guys are gonna do that for us. And they're also going to monitor your questions. If you, in, the chat goes really fast. So if you guys have a question, you wanna put it in the Q and A to make sure it gets to me because we're gonna do Whitman. Whitman, I'm sending so much love to you. It's good to see you here. Um, it, it's that it, what I'm going to give you tonight is just so good. It is so good. Um, did I mention it's good? It's really good. Have either one of you guys heard this training before? 90 days from novice to rock star. I don't believe so. No, I don't think so. Cause I, I think I used to do it years ago and I haven't done it in a little while. And it was time to pull it out when I asked Brian, if I had permission to do anything, I said, this is the one I want to do because it's a new year and 
if there was ever a time to use this concept, it's now. Um, so a couple of things. One, January, <clears throat> um, big stuff coming down the pike. We already have a leadership meeting set up right the first week of January. Um, if you're new here, get excited. If you're old here, get really excited because you don't see the guys coming out of the gate wanting to get together with all the leaders like immediately in the new year. And they have so much coming down the pike that you really want to be paying attention. Whether you're a member looking to learn marketing, we have a lot coming for you. We're going to kick off the new year with Brian Finale next Wednesday night. He's going to set the sales for the whole year for all of us. Or whether you're an affiliate, and if you're not an affiliate, just uh, you can always ask here. We'll give you some information on how to become an affiliate if you'd like to earn some additional income um, by referring people to our training and, and workshops and different things. You certainly can. And certainly, uh, at the very least, can earn back what it costs you to be a member here to, to you know really learn some good marketing. And uh, then you could do kind of go large like I did. I'm, I'm running right at about a million and a half. So um, that's not chump change, that's not too bad. So, you know, and, and there's something for everybody, but we wanna make sure that everybody knows there's gonna be some big announcements in January. And then in February, we have something huge, especially for those of you that are looking for some, some bigger income type of options. Um, we have that for you. Now, just so you guys know, we're not a business opportunity. We're designed to teach and train you and we're designed to complement whatever it is that you're marketing. Um, not to interfere, but in fact, help you generate leads and cash flow so that you have the right posture. You have enough leads and you have the right posture to go in and be working with your, uh, your folks. Now, Tina, I'm going to ask you to do me a favor because I think you're, do you have your camera on one device and, and your sound on another or is that? No, nope, um, the only thing I'm trying to do right now is sham this live into my group. And then I'm going to be a hundred percent here. Okay. I'm not worried about, I don't think you're not paying attention because I know you do. You always do, but I'm getting like the side profile view. And I'm like, I want to see your pretty face. I know that's why okay. I was trying to use the, my Mac, but it didn't work out. So I have to be on this, the you're, camera's on the side. So you are, you are a servant and you are serving your people. So I totally get that. Oh, you could just tell them to get their tissues over here. Uh, because I really like it when everybody's in the room because we have more, more interaction. Of course, guys, if you're not in the webinar room, I won't see your stuff. Maybe these ladies can monitor some of the questions over there, but I won't really see it. So that's why I always tell everybody, come on down and come gather with the gang. So with that being said, you guys ready to go from novice to rockstar? Yes. All right. And I'm going to ask you both one more time, unless there's dogs, or cats, or something screaming in your house, I'm mute. I need your, I need you with me. Okay. I do better with people. Some people do better without because they like to keep on track. I do better when I can feel you because I can tell whether or not you're getting the concept. Does that make sense? All right. Yeah. Kim warned everybody that you may hear uh, Ollie snoring, my dog. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I, do you have a bulldog? I forget who you have. No, you no. Have? I have I have two King Charles Cavaliers. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. So it's Dina that has the bulldog. I try to keep track of all the animals. I don't have. I, am, I have. I have two parrots. So. Ah, so I understand now. Um, there's you that. Need to get, do you need? If you don't know her, meet Alice Iverson. She's in the group. <laughs> Alice has two birds too, and she found some secret software that even if the birds are screaming in the background, it it, it makes the background noise go away. I don't know what it is, but because her bird is her bird is absolutely frisky. He's a um an African gray, and he's super. Yeah. frisky and he's a <clears throat> he's a wacky boy he's a cute boy so all right 90 days now let me give you guys permission you can go slower it's okay maybe you have a full-time job maybe you have full-time parents <laughs> maybe you have full-time you know kids you're busy you don't have to do this in 90 days but you can do it in 90 days but what I do want to warn you against is trying to go faster. And I didn't really introduce myself, but um, guys, I've been in the home business industry for 22 years. I started when my kids were little. Um, they were three and six. They're now 25 and 28. And I was trying to figure out a way to not go back to my job. 
So I joined a network marketing company and I wanted to stay home. And um, we were also in a bunch of debt and I had to make it work. Um, because by the time I put on a suit and commuted and put two kids in daycare, I wasn't making that much money anyway. So I just figured if I could just make enough to stay home, I'd figure the rest out. And over time, I did. And it's been a, just an absolutely incredible ride. Now, this process would have worked back then before social media, but since social media, and now guys, we've had social media for 15 years now. I love when people tell me it's new. I'm trying to learn all the new stuff. Guys, it's not new. <laughs> it's not new anymore. If you haven't mastered some of this, it's time. Okay, 2022 is the time to, to get it under your belt. With social media, we can go much faster than we ever could before. Now, give me in, in, the, in the chat, guys, give me an X if you are in network marketing. Give me, and not everybody is. Some people are just straight affiliate marketers. Some people are in e-commerce. We have uh, we have all kinds of different professionals in here. So we have all different kinds, but a lot of people are in network marketing. Lots of X's, lots yeah, of X's. Lots of X's, lots of X's. Because we do have a lot of network marketers, which is cool. Network marketers that want to learn real world marketing. Okay, here's something that's important for everybody to understand. Because sometimes people come over here on the internet side uh, well, actually, everybody has to be on the internet side right now because of COVID. It's not like you can walk around and shake people's hands, you know. Hi, yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> don't touch me, you know, don't breathe on me. Um, <clears throat> network marketing is and always has been a warm market business. It is a warm market business. Sometimes people come to the internet thinking, I don't, I won't have to talk to anybody. I won't have to meet anybody. I'm going to magically press buttons on the internet, you know press buttons on the internet and I'm gonna get rich, okay? It doesn't work that way. Network marketing is a warm market business. Warm market means people that know you or people that feel like they know you. You should write that down by the way, guys, because that's a very important distinction. People who know you or people who feel like they know you. Tina, you and I have met, we have photographs together, we broke bread, we had something to eat. We had a very nice time and in Connecticut on the edge of Rhode Island. Do you feel like you know me? I know you. I knew you. I I knew you before I met you. And I and feel I, like I know you. you. And yes. I feel like I know you. And I remember that day clear as several years ago now. But I remember that day clear as I said, "Who's local? Who wants to come visit?" You know. And um, but do I know you? No, because I didn't know which kind of dogs you had. I don't know a lot about your life. I know a little bit about some of your business interests. I don't really know you. And I'd like to get to know you even more but I don't really know you. You don't really know me. You know what I show on the internet. Mm -hmm. That would count as warm market because we feel a kindred, you know, connection. We feel like we know each other. Okay. And so that's what we're talking about. We're looking over the next 90 days to build you know, they call them audiences. It's never been my word, but that's a, a, a marketing word, you know, to build an audience. Um, they call it, you know, markets, they call it niches, they call it all kinds of things. I, I don't like fancy marketing words, even though they are the correct words, because I'm a home business owner and I'm just not fancy. Okay. I do have a fancy scarf on tonight and that's because I had some weird rash on my neck and I just, <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't take looking at it. So I put on a scarf. I may like strip it off soon as I get hot in my, you know, perimenopausal, you know, you know, drama over here. But right now I do have a scarf on. My Aunt Kathleen gave it to me for Christmas and I think it's lovely. So anyway, I don't like the big fancy words um, because I don't think that way. And then, I, and again, they're not wrong words. They're just not my words. And then also, I feel like they confuse people a lot. Hmm. So think about your neighborhood. Aren't there lots of people that you feel like, you know, you wave, you, 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 bo you both walk your dogs or you go for morning walks or you're out gardening or whatever. You're like, hey, hey, Mrs. Smith. Hey, John, you know, hey, you don't know them. Now, some you might, but you don't really know them. So this is a normal thing. You go to the dry cleaners, you go to the you know, the Piggly Wiggly, you go wherever you go. You don't really know them, but you know the cashier because you always go on her line because she's the fastest, right? We're looking to build 
a group of people that feel like they know us. And there's three stages because when you do have that, I got to tell you, and again, not to hype because I don't like hype and I don't like silliness, but guys, you can make money on demand when you develop that. You can make money on demand. You can recruit on demand. I mean, I send out emails and say, hey, send me a bunch of money. People go, okay, where do I send it? Right? And that's because they feel that they know me and they trust me because I've been in one place for a long time. It took me years to create that because I didn't have social media before and I didn't have the platforms in the way I had them. I have them now. It took me years to create that. I'm going to show you how to create that in 90 days. Okay. Again, you want to do it in six months? Great. You want to do it in a year? Great. If you want to take two years, doesn't matter to me, but there's three stages. So am I clear so far, ladies? Yes. Am I making sense? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm, I write my own notes to myself. So I make sure I'm saying the right thing. The first stage, and, and by the way, they all start with P because that's what us fancy trainers do. We make up things with like the same letters or catchy names or whatever, right? So you can remember them. The first P is promoter. Okay, promoter, okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna go on a sidebar and then I'm gonna come back to promoter. One of the biggest problems that we have in the industry is everybody is darting from thing to thing to thing to thing to thing to thing to thing. And they never build a solid skill set. So what they do is they kind of sort of learn how to do something. This is a skill set. They kind of sort of learn how to do something. And then they put something else on top of it. They kind of sort of know how to do. And then they kind of sort of know how to do this. And the next thing you know, they're doing all this kind of advanced stuff, except they really don't know what they're doing. And they go years. And, and if this is you, I love you. Let's fix it tonight. Okay. If you, if you identify with this, it's okay. Because you're in the game and you're trying and you're working on this stuff. But what we have to do is build solid skill sets and then build upon it and build upon it until you become like a wall and movable, like a big boulder. Like nobody can move me. Everybody knows where I am. Everybody knows what I do. You like me, you don't like me, you like my style, you don't like my style, but you can't move me. You can't tell me it doesn't work. You can't tell me this is dumb or that. You can't tell me because one, I planted myself and I became a rock. And two, I am living proof that it works. Okay. I am living proof that what I'm about to teach you works. Okay. So somebody can do it or not do it. That's up to now. But it works. So promoter. The first task to learn is to become a promoter of whatever it is you're selling okay when you're in the promoter stage <clears throat> your job and i'm going to write it down myself is to get the word out okay get the word out now back in my day when you started in network marketing they had you make a list of 100 people that you knew right and your job was what to get the word out, to contact those people and invite them to take a look at what you had. Okay, that's the, the traditional way. And if you're smart, you still start with your, your existing warm market because those are the people that at least trust you. They know who you are. Today, we have the internet and we have my lead system. And what My Lead System Pro allows you to do is to offer different types of things that people already want and get those people to raise their hand to let you know that they're in your market and to actually start to build a list <clears throat> of all the people that have interest in home business. 
making money, et cetera, et cetera. Because I mean, I, I'm guessing you guys, who wants to recruit people that don't want to make money? Anybody want to recruit people that don't want to make money? <laughs> right? I mean, because then it's like pulling teeth, right? Who wants to recruit people that are afraid of their own shadow? No, right? Who wants to recruit people that um, are don't want to do any work? Nobody, right? So who are the best people to communicate with about what you have? People that are looking for training and information and eBooks and video courses and challenges because those people are demonstrating that they are interested in making money, which is the exact kind of people you're looking for. By the way, if I was building a baseball team, if I was building a baseball team, would I be looking for ballerinas, right? I'm recruiting for a baseball team. Literally, I'm looking for the best 12 year old pitchers and the this, this and that. I wouldn't be looking for ballerinas because ballerinas don't play baseball except for some that do, you know? You never know who does, maybe they do. Um, nowadays, especially people can do whatever they want, but generally speaking, we're going to look to the people that do the thing or show interest in the thing that we have. So is everybody in the, in the, in the chat, give me an X, is this clear? Is this clear? X, Deborah says X, Tony, Greg, all right, Amber, Karen, all right, good. Okay. So when I am in the promoter role for the first 30 days of my plan, I do not want to be worrying about anything but getting the word out. How do I do that, Diane? Let's talk about it. Okay. Let me do this. We're going to go over into the My Lead System Pro. So we already agree we want leads, people that have interest in making money. Okay. My Lead System Pro, which again didn't exist back when I started, back when I was a puppy. Okay. Let's go up here. Whoops. Let's move this out of the way. Okay. This is the back office. My Lead System Pro. Okay. And actually, I'm going to sign out of this account and go to the other account. Hang on. Hang on. It's easier. What I like to do is I have a demo account when I'm teaching people stuff. And it's a lot easier when we go in there because it's not confusing with my stuff. It's just a clean, pretty, nice account. Okay. So when we're in the, the back office, we have, and guys, by the way, if you're new and Brian popping up all the time, because that's what Brian does, he's popping up all over the place. Okay. If you're new, give yourself a week to get yourself acclimated before you start this plan. Okay. Because because I want you to go through the start here training, kind of get your system set up and, and so on and so forth. Get your system set up. Go to the new member orientation on Monday night. Val, uh, Val Keisha, they'll, they'll take care of you. They'll, they'll you know, go through this training. This is for, what I'm teaching you tonight is for after you go through this training, okay? And we have, inside of this training, we have a lot of simple techniques on how to do the things I'm gonna talk about tonight. In fact, let's take a look before I show you something. Okay, this is the training library. Okay, and you can purchase additional courses if you wanna go pro on a particular topic. But this is just included in our back office. And I'll tell you, if you're a guest, I'll tell you how to get in here in a minute uh, for a buck. Anybody want to come hang out for a buck? I'm going to give you my special goodie tonight um, for a buck. And I'll give you 30 days to kick around in here. We got social media networking prospecting, how to go for yes and get people to say yes to you, how to post on social media for profits how to use our lead gen campaigns, uh, zero rejection marketing, how to close sales and recruit reps via Facebook Messenger, how to talk to your leads on the phone, a daily method of operation, how to get leads, uh, how to prospect strangers. We got all this stuff, guys, okay? We got all this stuff. 
So we have any time your brain during this training that I'm doing says, but I don't know how to, we have you covered. We have you covered. We have everything under the sun. Okay, I shouldn't have closed my screen. We're a promoter. My only job is to what? What did I say our job is? Promote. Get, Get the, the word out. out. Get, Get the, the word, word out. out. Yay, they did so good. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> okay. My job is to get the word out. My job is to collect leads. It's not to learn all this fancy dancy stuff. It's not to be in a senior class when I'm a freshman. May and maybe some of you guys have been around for a while and you're going to think that this is beneath you. Okay. I always say you don't know it if it ain't making you money. Okay. I watch a lot of people and they walk around, they beat their chest, they beat their chest. I, da, 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 and I do this and I do that. You don't know it if it ain't making you money. If it's making you money and you're satisfied with the money, then you know it, move to the next step. If you are not satisfied with where you are, if you do not have, and guys, I, I work with not that many leads, three to five leads a day coming in. Okay. You can get a lot more, but you need three to five. When it's warm market, three to five is plenty. Three to five leads a day coming in. If you don't got it, you don't know it. If you're not making, you know, a certain amount of money a day, average out over the course of the month. If you're not satisfied with that, you don't know it. In your MLM, if you are not bringing in, you know, however many people you want a month. I mean, guys, you really got to bring in 10 people a month. I mean, I'm just very real. Can you guys tell I'm from New York? <laughs> I don't live in New York anymore, so I'm softer and gentler now, but... It, it, you got to be bringing in so many people a month and anybody who's, you know, giving you a medal when you bring in one person every other month and telling you it's great in the beginning, it is, but once we're in 90 days, six months, nine months, a year, we're, we don't have it down. And I want to give you a process to get it down, get it down. So some of you guys might be like, she's mean. I'm not mean, I'm trying to give you information that will help you get what you want. And I just, I always wanted the truth. I always wanted the truth. I didn't want glossy, you know, rainbows and lollipops. I wanted to know, you know, like getting a puppy, okay? Puppies are cute, aren't they? Anybody ever had a puppy? <laughs> what's the reality of a puppy they're going to rip your house apart they're going to poop all over the floor they're going to pee all over the floor they're going to wake you up they're going to put their put their food everywhere they're going to destroy your home they're cute though aren't they right so a home business oh i'm gonna ride on yachts on the beaches of the world and i'm gonna sip out of a coconut with a little umbrella it's gonna be there. okay it's hard work but if you do the hard work and you layer those skills, remember what I said about printing money on demand. So here we are in the back office. This is what we have, guys. We have a library of websites that will allow you to generate leads because every time somebody fills out a form to get one of our free courses or our free giveaways, you generate leads. Those leads are people that you can follow up them with. Remember, I just showed you the training library. We have training on all of it. And then we also have products that you can promote to create cash flow. That cash flow pays for your monthly auto ship. That cash flow pays for any of your other tools that you're using. That cash flow covers your business expenses. So you're not taking them out of pocket every month. We need to get to a break even state as soon as possible. Write that down, everybody. I need to be, and a lot of you guys are much more advanced because I know there's a lot of pros here tonight, but some of you guys are new. I need to be at a break even state as soon as possible, moving towards profit. Okay. So cash flow will allow me to stay in the game because the name of the game is stay alive. If I am breaking even and then I start turning a profit, I can hang around the flagpole long enough until my skill set becomes masterful so that I can go large. We all want to go large, but 
we have to learn how to break even, turn a profit, and then hang around long enough till we kick in. In fact, I want to give a shout out to Lindsay Sewell. I don't know if she's on tonight. I know she, a lot of times the kids have to go to bed at this time, but Lindsay Sewell just posted. She had her first five figure month. Lindsay Sewell started promoting, generating leads. Then she started, I'll tell you what the next stages are in a minute. And it took her some time and some consistency, consistency until her skills became rock solid. And she now just had her first five figure month, which is huge. And Lindsay's a mom, just like I was, you know, I still am a mom, but you know, of small children, she's working around two little kids and she's pulling that down. That's just incredible. And she's just another one of our members that developed their skills here with us. Um, so, okay, so we have all of these websites and I don't have time to go through all of them tonight because I wanna take you through this whole process, but all you have to do is go in here and pick a couple of campaigns that you'll like, okay? So for example, um, I'm gonna go in here because I wanna, Give you guys the one that uh that will get you in the door for a buck okay um we have a lot of giveaways okay we have a lot of giveaways and then we have a lot of low cost products that you can promote that cause people to start to have a customer relationship with you this one right here it's simplelistleverage.com tina or debbie can you put that in the chat for me one of you guys Simple list leverage.com. This one is a five day experience and simple formula to grow your first email list and begin to build the number one long term asset that can pay you for life. Okay. This is a this is a mini course that I did, a challenge that I did not too long ago. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> that's hysterical. I told you. Ah, I'm gonna mute. <laughs> oh, no, I think it's funny. Leave it open. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love it. So when you get Simple List Leverage Challenge, if you are not a My Lead System Pro member and you would like to join us for a month to go through all of these courses and test out some of the stuff I'm talking about, for a dollar, you'll get 30 days plus you'll get this, this mini course this challenge, which will help you set up your first email list. So this is pretty cool. And by the way, you can get back to the person who invited you. We have other challenges, other dollar offers. The truth is that once you spend a dollar on this, you're going to get all the challenges. You're going to get all because you have access to the whole back office. So for example, this right here, this is a campaign that I can decide to promote. Okay. I don't have to have a photo shoot or a video shoot or anything else fancy to capitalize on this campaign that somebody else taught and somebody else created the capture page and somebody else created the follow-up emails and somebody else created everything for me. All I have to do is go out on the internet and create some simple posts and or in conversations with people say, hey, I don't know if you've been building an email list, but I have a great training. It's only a dollar. I can make a picture and put it up. I can write words and put it up. I can do a story, grab my phone and go, hey, if any of you guys needed to build your first email list, I have a great training. It's only a dollar. Hit me back or DM me if you want the link. Right. By the way, we have things that are free. If a dollar scares you, by the way, you make 30 cents when you, when you, if you're an affiliate, you make 30 cents if you sell the dollar product, right? So I can take any of the campaigns or I can pick like three of them that I like and I can decide that for the next 30 days, all I'm going to, and by the way, you can do this with your MLMs and stuff too. The reason why I like doing it with MLSP, I'm not trying to get you to sell MLSP stuff. You can if you want. I have, like I said, I made a million and a half dollars selling MLSP stuff. It's a pretty good gift, right? But when you do this, you generate leads that are appropriate for your business interests. So that's why leading with this versus your nutritional products or whatever else you have 
makes more sense. Because if you get a person that's interested in building an email list, they're a person who's interested in business. If you get a person that's interested in learning how to post for profit, that's a person that is interested in learning how to use social media for business. This person may be looking for an opportunity right now, or they may be looking for an opportunity later. Guys, just hang around for a little while. You'll see. It doesn't really matter when they're looking. The point is that you've built a relationship with them and you start building this list. And over time, you'll see that so many people are looking and there's so many people to prospect and there's so many people to put into your opportunity or onto your products. So stage one, become a promoter, pick two, three, four, five campaigns that you like, and then use our training about posting for profit and go ahead and only promote these things for the month. Now, I want to brand myself. We'll get to that. I want to make tons of money. We'll get to that. I want to do this. I want to do, I want to recruit for my MLM. I don't want to do that. I want to recruit for my MLM. All valid. But here's what I'm wanting to tell you. And again, this is not, I didn't just start this yesterday. I started this 22 years ago. If you build a list and a database, you will never, ever, ever be under anybody's thumb. You won't be worried if you, if you at some point you're not happy with where you are, you'll have a list in a database you can pick up and go anywhere you want. <clears throat> you don't like your, your uplines being a jerk or your upline is moving to somewhere else and freaking people out or, you don't like the ethics of something or they change your product formula or your company goes out of business, which happens quite a bit. I'm not being negative, I'm just being real guys, okay? If you have a list and leads and relationships with people that you've built over time and you've built cash flow, what will happen is that you will be able to do anything you want forever, which is a pretty cool thing isn't it? If you don't build a list and you don't have control over the people and the prospects and your method or your process, what happens is then something comes up and you have no way to even communicate with your own people. So this process of becoming a promoter, the reason why we become a promoter, why do I always slam dunk on like, like, okay, okay. Like, and I'm not bragging, I'm just excited, okay? I got my, I won a contest recently here at MLSP. It was a $7,500 home business package, okay? It's crazy. I got my new Apple Watch. I got my new little Apple ear pods. I got my new iPhone, okay? How did I do that? I got all these cool toys, right? I didn't even get them all yet. How did I do that? without breaking a sweat. It's called having a list. So simplelistleverage.com, even if you don't like what I taught you tonight, go grab that challenge, simplelistleverage.com, stay for 30 days, cancel, you know, whatever you wanna do. But you have to learn to be a promoter. I have a list and I'm a really good promoter. I'm a really good promoter. The, the gosh honest truth is that that's what I do to this day. I'm really a good promoter. I'm a top affiliate in so many different things. I've won so many different things. Oh, Diane, you're great. No, I'm a good promoter. If you are not a good promoter, like I watch people, I watched today, we had a, we had a uh, event with the founders today and people didn't have questions about their funnels. And then they were like, okay, let's all go make posts to promote the webinar tonight. Cause you could make money, right? And everybody just sat there. Am I critical? No. We need to be promoters. We need to learn to conversationally mention the things that we have without feeling shame or embarrassed. I'm not chasing everybody, anybody down when I say, hey, would you like a, a challenge so you can learn to build a list? Or, hey, there's this cool training that my friend Aaron did. It's about posting for profits. I recommend it all the time, this one training that we have. Nobody feels like I'm harassing them or bothering them. 
I'm just promoting and putting it out there. It, it would be like, hey, Tina, there's a really good pizza place in Stonington. It's like right, it's like right across the Rhode Island border. You want to meet me? And then you could say, oh my God, I love good pizza. Or you might say, I'm sorry, I'm lactose intolerant. I can't have pizza. And then I'd be like, okay, what do you want? Chinese food? We'll go for Chinese. What do you want? If I'm promoting pizza to you and pizza isn't a good match for you, that doesn't mean you went. That slimy Hawkman is trying to take me for pizza. She probably wants to buy me a glass of wine too. Doesn't she know I only drink water? <laughs> we don't think that way, right? If, if you can't eat pizza, you can't eat pizza. Or maybe you're keto or maybe you're, you can't eat pizza. That's cool. I'll buy you a steak, right? But we tend to think when we approach somebody with any of these wonderful tools that we have, that somehow we're doing something weird. And then we get into this weird sales mode, like, hey, this is the most incredible training ever in history. And no, it's just a thing about how to learn how to make your first ebook. Do you want it? You know, or you had to post on Facebook or how to do this. We have all the giveaways. They're done for you by one of the leaders here. The companies put together all the websites, the company gives you the lead, you have full control, or you can have them follow up for you, your choice. So promoter. Hey, Dania. Mm -hmm. We have a question yes. before you move on to the next subject. Um, the question from Brenda is, where are you keeping all of those leads? Ah, excellent question. Remember I said that we have you covered. We have you covered, my darling. Let me show you. When you generate a lead through any of these websites, and just let me just show you another one. Where'd it go? Is it coming up? It's coming up. Here's one. Create your first ebook in minutes, right? Lots of people want to learn how to do this. They click on this and they fill in their name and their email, right? Let me show you where the leads go. And again, I'm working right now out of an account that is just a demo account. So if you see that I don't have any leads, it's because there's no leads, leads in my account. Watch this. Watch this. It's so good. My prospects. My prospects right here all your leads go into this system, okay? And you see them each day when they come in. Again, this is a demo account, which is why you don't see any leads. But if somebody filled the form out, actually, maybe we could do that. Look, real time. Okay, so when I fill out the form, when, when your prospect fills out the form, they get your free training, they get your name and your face. They get PDF. They get exposed to your opportunity if you want to set that up. They get exposed to MLSP so you can make some cash flow. They get to read all about you. They get to contact you. I don't have this one filled out. It's not my real account. So normally I'd have all my social media here too. So the websites are all, you know, cool, right? And then let's see if it worked. Do, do, oh, it's making me laugh. Do, 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 and I'm running long. Oh, prospects. Look, there I am. I can rate myself. Oh my gosh, she's wonderful or she's horrible. I can keep notes on myself, uh, on, the, on the lead. I can uh, schedule when the next time I should follow up with the lead is, et cetera. Now, and I'm not going to get too into it tonight because if you go to simplelistleverage.com, you can get a whole training on how to set up a tool called an autoresponder that your leads also get put into if you want to. You don't have to, guys. It's, you know, a lot of people say it's advanced. I think it's like the most fundamental thing, but your choice. If you connect an autoresponder to your system, then they'll also go into your autoresponder tool. And then you can bulk email them. So when you have 10 leads, you can email all 10. So if you have 10 minutes, you can talk to 10 people. And, and then they, you get 100 leads over time and 1,000 leads over time. And now you're sending out one little email and inviting them to your company's overview. Yes. And all of a sudden, you have 10 guests on and three sign up. And everybody's like, how did you do that? And you go, like, I don't know. It's just, you know, it's just, you know, it's just, I've just been working hard. You know, you don't secret weapon MLSP. So we have you covered. So promotion, again, I can't teach you all the promotion tonight, but what I can tell you is for 30 days, I wouldn't be worried about nothing but promoting and getting, like I would set, 
30 days, I would say I want to generate 100 leads. 50, right? Just say 50. I'm going to generate 50 leads by the end of the month. I'm going to. Come hook or by crook, I'm going to generate 50 leads because the average marketer does not have that skill. I don't want to worry about all the fancy stuff and Canva and this and that and all the things that everybody wants to rush to learn. All I want to do is become a good promoter. If I am a good promoter, I will always be able to generate leads. If I can always generate leads, I can always make money. Does that make sense to anybody? Give me an X in the chat. Hey, Diane, we have another question yes. from the Q&A. What constitutes a lead? Alice would like to know that. Okay, well, there's differing opinions on this. I'm old school. For me, a lead is somebody that put in their name and email or gave me their name and email because I want a lead that can go into my system, into my autoresponder. Other people, they feel that if somebody's communicating with you on Facebook, you know, like maybe they comment on your stuff, that they're a lead. Um, I think it's all good because it's all leading towards the same place. So, you know, it's like, you know, how do you count the, how do you count the, 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 the runs in baseball? They got to step on the, you know, they got to go across the home plate. To me, home plate is in my system. That's me. But again, I'm old school. I'm not, I wasn't, I wasn't brought up, you know, I was raised on the radio, like that old song. I wasn't raised on social media. I was raised before social media. So social media folks that maybe are a little younger in the game than me, they might think of a lead differently. Yeah. All I know is, does the person feel like they know you? And can you communicate with them? I'm not much of a messenger girl. That's me. I don't, I don't send a lot of messages to people. I work almost fully to, via mass communication on social, mass communication through my list, driving people in to make purchases. So you don't find me messaging a lot. A lot of other people message extensively and they are extremely good at it and they built empires. That's the best part about this. You have a lot of people <clears throat> with a lot of different skill sets here at My Lead System Pro. So as you guys come down the line, you can start to go, okay, I like that guy's stuff. I like that girl stuff. I'm more like that person. I'm like that person. So somebody might look at me and go, why would you only want to do it that way? I don't know. It's the way I was taught. Why would somebody else do it? You know, I might look at somebody and go, why would they do it that way? Because it's the way that they've developed their skills. But the one thing I know is if you're not a good promoter, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And learning to be a good promoter has to do with learning to make good posts, learning how to tell people about things, get the word out. There's a million different ways you can do it. First stage is promoter. 30 days. 30 days, 30 days, nothing else, nothing else but promotion. See if you can have happy leads. We got one more question. Wait, hang on, Debbie. I'm gonna keep moving because we're late and then I'll take more. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. You're awesome. Now the, the next stage, I'm writing things down myself, is personality. Is that personality? First, I am old, oh my God, I'm singing like Neil Sedaka songs over here. Okay, <clears throat> you go from being a promoter. A promoter, right, is not the issue, right? Step right up, step right up. Come in and see the bearded lady, right? He's not the issue. The bearded lady is the issue, right? Step right up, step right up. The job of the promoter is to catch the attention of a person and get them in the door get them into the challenge, get them like, we just finished up the holiday cash flow challenge. It's not over, you can still get in. I figure what the link is. Somebody figure out what that link is for me. They changed it a couple of times. So um, we just had a, a wonderful holiday cash flow challenge and we had several different trainers teaching their best tricks. The job of the promoter was to get them in the door. There we go, holiday season secret. Thank you, Miss Kim. Thank you, Miss Kim. So um, you can tell I didn't promote that one a lot because I was busy doing other things. Um, sometimes I'm a heavy promoter on something. Sometimes I have other business interests. Um, so the promoter, their job is to just get them in the door. And MLSP is perfect for promoters. You can make money becoming just a promoter. I made 
Guys, early in my career, I was not the teacher. I was not the spokesperson. I was none of the things I am today. I was just a promoter. I got people in front of the speaker. But today, everybody thinks they can't be, you know, they have to be the issue. I don't know where all that came from. Promoter, promoters can make a lot of money, okay? Especially if you're more introverted and you're not somebody who wants to be the issue. You could stay in promoter and make a great living. But the second step is to become a personality, to become visible, to brand yourself, right? We've always heard that, right? And everybody's always talking about branding, branding, branding. To brand yourself, okay? So that's when you start putting your name and your likeness into all of your marketing. Let me show you today's example. Let's go over here. Let's close this. Let's go over here. I was worried that somebody wrote me something weird and it's going to be on the screen. Ah. Okay. This is an example of me inviting people or promoting, right? I'm promoting the webinar tonight. But what I did was I put my goofy picture on it. And I learned how to put my name in the link. Again, I'm not gonna teach you all of that tonight. There's not enough time. This is a concept, an idea, it's a process. But this is an example of learning how to become the personality. In the first stage, we're not an issue. We're just getting people in the door, okay? We're not trying to control them. We're not trying to keep them with us. We're not trying to get them to fall in love with us. We're just trying to get them in front of the deal <clears throat> that would generate a lead or make us some money. You guys follow that? The second stage, we want the person to be glued to us. Now, why is this important? Because if we just push people long-term into different things, what happens is they get glued to the personality. You ever have that happen, anybody? You get somebody and <clears throat> you send them to the, to, the, to the company thing and then somehow they end up recruited by somebody else. They kind of got huh. scooped up by somebody. Now, what's cool about My Lead System Pro is it can't happen here because by virtue of promoting and getting someone in the door, they're locked to you, they're locked to you, okay? So they're, they're, they're totally connected to you. So like, let's say somebody came on the webinar and they went, that's I am, she's like amazing. And Debbie had sent them to the webinar. It would be like, great, but you know, they're with Debbie. There's nothing to do. And here's the cool part. All of the leaders here, we don't want any of that stuff going on. We don't want, we want people with the people. We, we all work together. So we want people with the people that promoted them to come visit. So it's really cool. But the rest of the marketplace, this is like a little utopia over here. See, Debbie's writing, we are family. We really are like, <clears throat> like I, I've had conversations with different leaders, you know, somebody, this happened and that happened. And we always just do whatever's best for the people. Um, we're weird here. We're like that. What can I tell you? Okay. So for those of you that might be going, well, yeah, but what about this? And what about that? And what, like I said, we got you covered. <clears throat> when you go into the personality phase, okay. Now we're gonna start using our images. We're gonna to start to learn how to add in. We have full training on how to use stories, how to use short form video. Uh, I made three TikToks today. I want you all to know they were bad TikToks, but I made three TikToks today because I am hell bent and committed to mastering this new, new communication method. So I made three TikToks today. Um, you start adding yourself, your own words, like. When you're a promoter, we're just going to use the swipe copy, okay? We're just going to use the copy. They give us the copy, guys. They give us, they give us what to write, what to say, where to say it, when to say it, how to say it, you know, like quack like a duck. And, you know, they tell you what to do. And then the second phase is when you decide you're going to start to express yourself. Great example, <clears throat> you look at Kim Ward, one of our great leaders. Kim, <clears throat> like, emerged from, from, you know, she was just like this person coming down the road. She was a promoter. And then Kim started showing us about her family life and about her goats and started talking passionately about her issues and the things that were important to her. So now what's happened is she's turned into 
a complete uh, personality and people are locked. They love her. They want to be with her. And that's when you really get into attraction marketing and the attractor factor. <clears throat> and this is some people get scared of this part. Okay. And I always say, listen, if you just want to be a promoter, you can just be a promoter. Okay. Go for it. You can just be, it's more legwork, more work to be a promoter. <clears throat> when you add your personality to it, everybody's attracted. Like one person's attracted to somebody who has fancy hair and fancy this, and you know, because there's a lot of that on Instagram and stuff. And then somebody else, like, like I made a video the other day uh, writing copy in my pajamas on my robe. And I probably got more response from people going, oh my God, you're in your robe at noon. That makes me so happy. Because <clears throat> I let them see the reality that some mornings I get to writing and I don't bathe until noon. And I just, because I'm, I'm focused. And it's the truth. And so other people will be like, how could she like possibly be in her robe at noon? This is where we start to have people gravitate towards us because they dig us. <clears throat> some people are bird people. Some people are dog people. Some people are cat people. Some people like to like to live by the ocean. Some people live in an Iowa cornfield. Some people, and, and everybody just starts to gravitate. So the more you learn to be a personality, the more you'll find those perfect leads versus leads. Okay, let me say that again. The more you'll find those those people that just dig you, you dig them, than just a lead, okay? A lead is good. A lead that loves you is a thousand times more valuable. And I've been teaching this for years because one of the things that I've always done is I've built my database and my list of people that dig me. And so it's, it's much more valuable. That's how I win the game. It's not because I'm the better marketer. I'm not, guys. I told you in the beginning, I'm not really fancy. I'm I'm not the better marketer. I'm the one who connects with people tighter, maybe. Maybe. No, I don't know. So the personality phase is where we add our image. We start using video. We use live, again, we have training on all this. We use live video. We use short form video. We can use longer video. We can put our pictures on things. We're using stories. And now, we take the skills that we built the first month. If you generated 50 leads the first month, if you said, it's January, 2022, I will not be denied. I will not go through another year, not generating the kind of money that I want. I am committed. I will not go to sleep on the last day of January unless I've generated, pick your number. The, bit, the more, the better guys. I mean, I think y'all could do a hundred. I really, I really do. I mean, it's three a day. You know, so, and, and then you'll get a day where you'll get like 10, so you can goof off. But the second month, now we have those skills of promotion, but now we start adding our words, our face, our spin. And we may even generate less leads, but we'll generate the right leads, leads that we totally relate with, leads that it's easier to talk to, et cetera. So now we're getting down the road, okay? So does everybody understand this stage? So, so now a lot of you are in the second, you're, you're, you're working second stage skills, but you never solidified the first stage. You never took a month and generated, just made a decision, I'm gonna just promote. You went directly to the personality phase, except you're not 100% sure of yourself. See, if you generated 100 leads in January, You'd be like strutting around in February. You'd be like, I already like promoted this thing and I made a bunch of dollar sales and now I got 10 members and I got a hundred leads and I know what you don't know. Nah, 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 boo, boo. And I don't mean you'll be full of yourself, but you'll have a lot more confidence. So you go out there and you start trying to do the second phase, but you haven't conquered the first phase, then you sound and feel completely unsure of yourself. And when you do that, you don't attract anybody. Uh, See, I'm getting people emotional. I didn't see who that was, but listen, it's okay because any skills that you've built up to this point are great. So what if you decide now I'm going to take January and I'm going to promote until I have this many leads. So the issue is learning to be a good lead gap. Then the second month you decide I'm going to come out. And I'm going to be visible and I'm going to let people know that I like Swedish fish, which is my favorite candy on earth that I have not eaten 
my friend Linda sent me Swedish fish when I got out of the hospital and I haven't eaten them because I'm off of sugar. I haven't had, I have not had a drop of sugar since August. And God, I want Swedish fish. <laughs> so, so I let people know I like this or I like that or the things I like to do. I like to do the hokey pokey. I like the Macarena, you know, whatever. So now I'm generating people that dig me, that like my sense of humor, okay? Everybody, thank you, Marla. I've been working really hard on, on uh, my diet. So, and I don't mean I'm dieting. I've worked on changing the composition of my diet. It's been, it's been, actually I don't even crave it anymore. I didn't even want anything at Christmas and they were pushing it on me. Let me tell you, those people, my family is ruthless. No, just a little cheesecake. It won't hurt. It's just one day. It's just a little. I don't want cheesecake, mom. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. No, just, 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 I bought this cheesecake for you, mom. I told you before I came that I wasn't eating sugar, but I, I really appreciate you. No, but you just, just one slice. No, mom, that's okay. Thank you so much. I'm just going to have a cup of coffee. Ah! <laughs> so do you guys understand personality is just being a promoter, but with your face and your voice. That's all it is. Okay. Now we're at the top of the hour. I'm going to probably take me about 10 minutes to finish this up. You two doing good? Yeah. Well, can I ask you, can I ask you a question? No, just because you're over here, you think you get to ask questions. You know? <laughs> That's you get, you get dibs. You can, you can have all the questions you can, you can ask personal, like, you know, your personal marketing. Come on. What do you got? Yeah. So I, I'm basically have been in um, this second stage, right? But when I first started MLSP three years ago, I was in that promoter stage for a while, right? Mm -hmm. And then I started getting into the videos and the images and using my own words and champ, but then, so I hit L2 really quick, but then I had something going on personally and had to take my foot off the gas. So do you recommend that I go back to that promoter stage for the 30 days? You can promote in the personality stage, but you still want to set that goal for so many leads. And okay. in your particular case, because you're more experienced, you might want to decide, I want to get so many trial memberships or something. And okay. just here, for anybody who's new, you can do this same process with anything you have. If you want to build your own page, by the way, we have the tools to build your own pages. I don't recommend you do that. And I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But if you have your own things or you have things from your company or your company provides some type of capture page or a download or something, or you have, you know, you use some other thing or whatever it is that you do, this process is the same. I'm just trying to show you why it's so easy with MLSP because we have trainings on uh, free giveaways on everything under the sun. And we have generic ones too that don't show uh, anything having to do with MLSP. We have ones that do expose MLSP if you want to promote it. It, it. It's up to you. Okay. But yeah, Tina, I think that you're experienced enough that you can stay in the personality phase, but you still have to create that same goal that you would if you were just promoted. Got it. Because Thank you. Back in my day, back in my day, back when we were young and we were kids, okay, there was no internet, right? So, so we had these little flyers and you just had to put out enough flyers to get enough calls that's all it was and and it wasn't like that there was a magic number like if you put out 462 flyers you'll get 12 calls you didn't know so you just had to keep promoting you just had to keep promoting and back then i was like you know like people will complain about stuff today and i like laugh i'm like i had to paper like i had to hang flyers and disgusting stop and shop bathrooms you know what a stop and shop bathroom is like tina it's gross okay mm. <laughs> and, and i had to <laughs> put flyers on people's cars and then you'd hope that they weren't coming out because they would yell at you and the mall cops and the you know i mean today it's like oh i posted in a group and facebook said you're bad you can't post for two days and everyone's like oh and i'm like i have the cops calling me going ma'am, you're posting things and it's illegal to do so and please cease and desist. And I'm like, I'm sorry, no, I didn't mean it. <clears throat> okay, so y'all, <laughs> there's 72,000 social media platforms. Inside of those platforms, there's groups and places and there's just, just on Facebook alone, there's like thousands of places to communicate with people, to invite people to post, to put a curiosity post. <clears throat> and everybody's like, ah. You know, I can't post on my wall too many times a day. Okay. You know, 
do you want to make money or did you do your, are you worried about somebody who is offended by you you know i don't know that's the whole story for another day <clears throat> so personality great question was there another question hanging around that was uh yeah we have a few okay i'm looking to see uh I don't understand your question, Damon, so feel free to uh, ask it again in a different way that I might not understand. Uh, Kathy asks, for the lead generation campaigns, are there pre-written emails that we can send to the leads or does MLSP send them follow-up mails? The emails, the answer is both, Kathy. If you do not attach an autoresponder to your system, MLSP will do all the follow-up for you. If you do attach uh an autoresponder mlsp is always giving us in our inboxes they, they send you out affiliate emails with swipe copy that you can use to send out so but um there is also a generic letter set in there that can be loaded but i like to send out the the fresh stuff that they're sending us they send us swipe copy every week um who looks after the people who you promoted to? Who, where does the lead go to? Okay, Wilma, the leads go into your back office into the CRM, Customer Relationship Manager that I showed you. And again, if you do not attach an autoresponder, MLSP will follow up for you. If you do attach an autoresponder, then it's your job to follow up. Um, and then Stacy, we have all kinds of training about what groups posting for profit. And, and I think go for yes has some of that in there. There's all kinds of training in the back office about the best groups to find people in. Um, I wanna make this clear and then I'll go to the last stage. Guys, the first stage, you don't really wanna be too worried about, you may not wanna, I'm, I'm like an autoresponder, like list builder, like, ah, always build your list. But for the first month, you may not want to attach an autoresponder because your whole focus is to learn the skill of lead generation. The whole purpose of the first phase is to learn the skill of lead generation, not lead follow-up, et cetera. The second phase, though, you do want to start to learn how to communicate and write and follow up with your leads because you're gonna get better results when the follow-up is personal, whether it's via email, whether it's via messenger. People will respond. I mean, you guys, how many emails do you get a day that they're just can blown, right? It, you don't read that stuff because you know it, there's nobody that really cares. People wanna know that, you, that you're interested, that you care and that they can write you back or that they can message you. So by the second phase as a personality, Right, and guys, I don't mean like you're a TV personality, but that stage is just where you're adding your personality. It becomes really important for you to start following up on your own. Um, and there's, again, we have a lot of training on this. And tonight's purpose is not to try to train you on everything that we have, it's to give you a roadmap. So the last phase is what I call the professional. Okay, so we go from promoter to personality, which is adding your face, your image, your video, your, your own writing. You know, if anybody ever reads my emails, they're very distinct. Whenever people rip off my emails, everybody knows. It's, it's really funny. Like somebody will go, oh, I'll just take one of Diane's emails. And then everybody screams because they know it's my email. It's very distinct. I write, <clears throat> I write like I talk. Um, you can hear my voice in your head when you read my letters, it's, it's freaky. Um, and that takes time, you know, you just, you just kind of, come down the road, you just learn. But the last stage is a professional, okay? Now a professional, and again, can you do this in 90 days? Yeah. Do you maybe wanna take more time to you know, really flesh out these skills? You certainly can. But the last stage is where you have your own list, right? You have your own list. Ain't a professional out there in a the marketplace that doesn't have a list, okay? And you can start to create your own products and or um, have uh, you know, your own maybe coaching offers or different types of offers or training offers. You know, guys, we have uh, here at My Lead System Pro with some of our memberships, we have a business center and the business center allows us to create our own funnels, our own websites, 
create our own, create and house our own products, create our own sales pages, and actually connect it to a merchant account so we can actually sell things and have the money drop right into our account. Uh, when you're new, it takes a couple days. When you've been around for a little while, it takes a day to get the money. So it's really cool. And so we have everything from the very beginning, super, super heavy duty training wheels for somebody who wants to come down the road. You start to learn to generate a lead. That's the first key. Everybody wants to learn all the skills in a day. And everybody wants to be fancy. If you would stick to promoting done for you things for a month and make a commitment to generate 50 or 100 leads, you pick your number <clears throat> and don't stop until you get that done. You get the skill of lead generation under your belt. The next month when you start adding your personality, you're talking, people can tell that you've actually done this. So if you say to somebody, here's a great uh, training on how to do this, this, and this. And last month I did this with it. People can tell you're telling the truth. When somebody's selling, can't you always tell if they're telling the truth? You can always tell, right? So when you're telling the truth about, man, I got started with this. And I, like the first week I had all these people helping me. The owners come out twice a week to help us. And I have this great challenge and, you know, it's a buck. And you can take it and you can learn X, Y, Z, you know, because we have a couple of them <clears throat> and you can hang out with us for a month. They can tell that you're telling the truth. And that's where you start to win. And then when you get into the third stage, you perhaps can create your own product or your own coaching offer. Uh, at the very least, as a pro, you have control of your list and you're creating your own websites. Again, I'm not technical. It takes me longer to do that stuff. That's why I'm a master promoter because generally speaking, when I'm promoting, I don't need to build technology things. I'm not that good at it, but I also understand the importance of it and the importance of creating my own things that I can completely control. The first stage, guys, you have a lot less control, but it's like busy work. It's just like posting. It's just busy work. You don't really have control of the whole path of the lead. You don't really have control of, <clears throat> over whether they realize you're their person or not. You don't have as much control, but you don't do that much of the work. The second stage, you have more control because they under, they know who you are. They have face and name recognition. They know you're their person, but you don't have full control because you're not managing the product, right? The product is being managed by your MLM or by MLSP. The money, it takes time to get paid. We get paid twice a month here. Um, which I love, but I also like getting money dropping into my inbox, like myself, like every day, you know, like, so, so I can't control, I can't just go, Hey, Todd in the office, pay me now. No, it gets paid on certain days. That's when it gets paid. I don't have full control. I also don't have to run the books and the merchant accounts and all this other stuff. And then when we get to the professional level, which again, we do have the tools and guys, it's a dollar simplestleverage.com. It's a dollar to check this out, poke around in the back office. But we have the ability for you to have your own websites, your own products, your own merchant account attached, your own autoresponder. And now you're a pro. And now you're a pro. We have the whole spectrum. We have the training and the coaching for the whole process. The biggest advice I can give you, and then I'll take any other questions we have, because I don't want to keep you guys too long. The biggest advice I can give you, though, is look at yourself. Take stock. It's okay, Tina. It's so cute. Take stock. We work from home. That's what I always say. We work from home. And um, I right now happen to be living on my own. But, you know, I had screaming kids and one night, Lindsay's daughter ran by without clothes on. She got out of the bathroom. <laughs> she ran by. And that's happened to me. Um, I've had, I've had, I had a kid puke on me on a, on a live call. It was a call at the time, but she threw up on me while I was like going and blowing on a conference call. It's great. It's great. We work from home, you know? So, um, the biggest advice I can give you is take inventory because we have people on every part of the spectrum here. We have multi six figure earners here. We have people that have never made a dollar yet on the internet hanging out tonight. 
look at your skills. And I do this all the time too. That's why I made three TikToks today. I look at my skills and I go, which of my skills are solid? Could I do in my sleep, you know, blindfolded? Which of my skills are wobbling? Okay. And I want you to be very, very, very honest with yourself because especially when you're working with programs and other people, it's really easy to believe that we did something when really it was the system that did it, you know, like, like, um, I, I'm watching a lot of people right now that happen to be in the right place at the right time with a program that has great products and it just exploded, but they think they're, they're like home business Kings and Queens. If that environment went away, could they do it again? That's the hard question, but I'm a real businesswoman. So I always have to ask myself that, you know, if this changed, could I do this again? And then sit down and go, okay, this is what I'm doing this month. So maybe you're not a good promoter yet. You don't know how to generate leads yet. You got to master that skill. Okay. You got to master that skill. Give it a month and get that skill to be rock solid. Can you generate a lead in your sleep? Okay. Maybe you know how to promote, you know how to generate a lead, but you're really kind of iffy on getting on camera or using your images, or maybe you need to learn some skills with graphics on how to make a little post like I did today. You know, maybe you need to figure out how to get your face. Cause first we're getting the word out. Next, we're getting our face out. I don't want anybody to see me. Okay, but you'll make less money. If you're a networker, guys. You, you can be in e-commerce and other stuff and never be seen. But if you think you're going to be in a network marketing business and not be seen, you're goofy. You're goofy. It doesn't work that way. And that's okay. So then you just decide, I'm going to take this month and I'm going to work on my personality phase, which means I'm going to go, maybe I'm going to go live every day. Maybe I'm going to do TikToks every day. Maybe I'm going to do stories every day. Maybe I'm going to print graphics, create graphics on Canva. Or I use another tool um, with my image on. I'm going to learn how to cut my picture out and stuff like that. Cool. 30 days to build name and face recognition. And then maybe you have a, both of those under your belt, but you haven't created a product yet, or you haven't gotten your own merchant account, or you haven't stepped to that next level. Then it's time to look into that. Those are the three phases. And those three phases will take you from novice to rock star. How fast you want to go, that's up to you. Some people are in a rush. Some people know that this is, you know, there's a learning curve. All cool. But those are the three phases. So good night, Carla. <laughs> All right, let me see what else there is. Uh, I said that MLSP will sell or follow up for you leads. How does that process go? If you do not connect your own autoresponder, My Lead System Pro will email the people that you bring into the system. And they will continually invite them and show them different products. They'll invite them to the webinars. They'll invite them to look at the different challenges and different things that we have. They will do that for you, 100%. Uh, Trish, the first stage, it's not about you at all. It's just promoting. Um, so I would say that Facebook lives are really in the second stage, but again, some of you guys already know how to do that. That's okay to incorporate Facebook. You guys understand if you're not brand new and you know, some things it's okay to use, like Tina asked, it's okay to use the things, you know, but make sure that you're using those things to solidify the first stage. If you can't generate a hundred leads a month, you got it. You got to go to work with that. Okay. If you want to use Facebook lives, cause you know how to do them. Awesome. Everything has to be about generating a lead. You know, like I, I'll watch people, they're like talking and I'm like, and where do they go? Where do they go? Where do they go to get information? Or you're making posts and you're chatting. Where do you want them to go? Or what do you want them to do? You have to get really clear on I'm dry. It's like um, herding cattle, you know? I want them to go back to the, to the pen. If they're out in the field. I want them to go to the pen. I have to drive, like, I'm like a little doggy and I'm like, I'm like driving the cattle. Okay, I'm driving the sheep. I'm a shepherd. I'm getting the sheep to move. That's, what, that's probably bad. I'm sorry. But that's the idea of that lead generation. Learning how to move people to 
through the threshold of your lead generation system, whether it's asking them for their email or whether it's getting them to go to a page and opt in. Um, if you know how to use a Facebook, uh, if you know how to use a Facebook Live and you want to do that, that's okay as long as you understand the outcome is the lead generation. And yes, there is a recording of this. It will be put in the back office. If you are not a member, um, go to simplelistleverage.com and pay a dollar, hala, um, and you'll you'll be a member for 30 days. And then you can always cancel for any reason you don't see value in what we have. So those are the three stages promoter, personality, and professional. It's, it's the process, it's the, it's the gateway to everything that you want. Um, and if you don't wanna take all the responsibility of being the professional, that's okay. You can stay in the two lower levels and still make a great living, a great living. But I know a lot of my friends, they've gone on to build empires. I've kind of hung out here, so I'm happy. I don't, I don't want the empire. You know, I don't want, I, I wanna make a lot of money and not do a lot of work. So, so I hang out with Brian and Jim because they do all the work and I make all the money. It's fine. So if you do have questions, please put them in the Q and A, not in the chat, because it's hard for me to see them. And I'll take one more minute uh, for any questions that anybody has. What do you girls think? Was this, I love it. Did it make sense? Was it confusing? Was it helpful? What do you think? No, it was, it was very, very helpful. Um, I basically at level three, stage three um but i like that you said go and set that goal for myself yeah. so whether i get like you know 10 trial members in january um so that's what i'm going to focus on i love that and tina by the way i do this too even after all these years like i was in my aweber today writing a list my autoresponder and i went oh man you sucked win on leads this month you better, you better buckle down and generate a lot of leads in January. So I, I do this too. I go back and refocus on those fundamental skills because if there's no leads, there can't be sales. Yeah. I want everybody to really get that. If there's no leads, there can't be sales. If there's no sales, there's no cash flow. If there's no cash flow, you're not gonna recruit. It's a chain reaction, chain reaction. Any thoughts, Debbie? Was it helpful? Yeah, for me, I think um, I think I missed phase one somehow <laughs> and jumped right into a little bit of phase two, a little bit of phase three. But I think uh, starting January 1st, 2022, I personally am going to go back to phase one and just set a goal for 100 new leads or 10 new dollar trials or, or both, <laughs> right? So just I'm pretty focused. You, can, you can use your, your personality skills that you already have to be a promoter. But the reason why I don't include those skills in the promotion, in the promoter level is because a lot of people, the camera freaks them out. So mm -hmm. I don't want them worried about that. But if you guys already have those skills, 100% use every weapon you have, guys. Use, okay. use everything you have. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, yes. But I want you to get real about whether that fundamental skill exists. Because if you build that database, you're always gonna have people to invite. When you have people to invite to presentations or events or whatever, you're always gonna make sales. You're always gonna make sales. And, it's, it, and it becomes easy. So then somebody like me who focused on these skills in the list, I just write an email and go, hey, we're doing a webinar tonight. And so many people show up. Hey, you know, do you guys wanna buy this? and they just show up, I, it, it's, it's effortless. Um, Simplelistleverage.com, let me put this in here one more time. If you're not a member, and again, if you saw like another challenge that you liked better, you're gonna get all of them. So don't worry about that. Um, I just know this one, because this is the one that I made, so I know the link by heart and it's easy. Um, so I don't know if that's a clickable link, it's simplelistleverage.com and you will be tagged to the person that invited you here. How cool is that? They may not even be here. They might've promoted and invited you and, um, they may not even be on tonight. Maybe they're <clears throat> giving their kids a bath or feeding their dog or their dog snoring on their lap on the couch and they couldn't move them. So, <clears throat> you know, and, and that's, what's really cool. 
And for all of you that are existing members, I cannot impress upon you enough um, the skill of promotion. And I've watched over the years, we used to be hardcore promoters here at MLSP because we really understood what the guys were doing for us and what they had created for us. And we, we went to, to, to town and, and when, you know, we would all promote each other and everything else. And then over the years, it's just people just haven't, they're not out there utilizing this stuff uh, the way we used to. And maybe because it was new then and, and I don't know, but what I know is if you picked up your promotion game and you added on your personality, um, the things that you want to happen would. Um, and then you'd have a lot of confidence when you go to, you know, if somebody bought a, a little challenge or something like that, it's really easy to ask them, you know, well, hey, what are you doing for recurring income? Do you have a program? Um, and but a lot of people, they either don't have the lead, they don't have a, a customer to talk to, and or they feel sheepish about doing that. If somebody says to me, oh, I'm in a program and I absolutely love it, we sell blank, I'm like, awesome. Well, let me know how I can help you with your list building and anything else that you're doing. If you decide to stay with My Lead System Pro, I, you know, I'd be thrilled to work with you. I have a Facebook group, let me put you in it. And, and that's it, right? But if we don't ever ask them the question, you know, what's your, what's your plan for generating leads? Or, and it doesn't have to be this weird posture like, I'm smarter than you because I know how to generate a lead. No, it's just like, hey, you know, are you using the internet at all? Or how are you keeping track of your leads? It's, it's caring. It's caring. It would be like if I said to Tina, man, are you set? The snow is going to come sooner or later. You know, is your snowblower in good shape? Th that wouldn't be me trying to sell Tina a snowblower. But if she said mine's broken and we got to do something and I happen to know a place, I could say, you know, Tina, there's this place they have a good deal. Right. But I'm not trying to sell her a snowblower. I'm just trying to find out if she's all set. It doesn't have to be weird. It just takes practice. And the only way to get practice is to generate leads. Yeah, we have a question on the Facebook page um, from Jane. She said, <clears throat> did I understand you to say in the promoter stage to choose three to four things to promote? So yes. not... So not promote just one thing all month, question mark. I wouldn't because it's a little repetitive. And plus, yeah. you know, conversationally, if you only posted one thing over and over and over, all roads lead to leads. So I like to mix it up. I have a few of my own favorites. Um, and by the way, I promote them. Sometimes I promote them with a post. Sometimes I promote them with a video. But a lot of times I'm just talking to someone and I go, well, hey, you know, if you, I have a training on, on how to, you know, build an ebook if you want it. I mean, it's not the fanciest one. You could get a graphic artist to spiff it up. But if you want to put together a simple ebook, I can give you that. You can do it this afternoon. Really? Oh my God. Thank you, Diane. You're the best. You know, I, I'm, I'm out connecting with people and finding out what they need. You know, I, I have a great training my friend Aaron did on, on you know, posting and posting in groups and how, how to not make it icky. Uh, she, she's awesome. She's like a big MLM lead here. You know, she really good at it. Great, I'll send it over to you. You know, that's, I'm conversationally, I'm also, if I go live, I'm conversationally talking about things I have. Um, and so it's not awkward. So yeah, three to five. I mean, you can have more if you can handle them, but a lot of people, they start getting confused. You know, they're just like, cause there's like 30 or 40 of them and they're like, oh, just pick something, something that resonates. You know, like I like the ebook one. I like posting for profits. Obviously I like simple list leverage cause it's mine. Um, there's one that I did about storytelling and I happen to do it, so I like it. But if you look at some of them, pick a couple that you like. So that's something. Tina, thank you for looking over there. I haven't looked at. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> See, you um, there's a there's another question in the Q and A about um, where to find people. Um, okay, so and that one I deferred to answer because we okay. have so much training in the back office. If you guys go through the Start Here training, go through the Start Here training, and I know some of you guys think you did, like you did, <laughs> like you watched the video, but you didn't do the thing. 
you know, you know, that's the truth. Okay. Guys, it's the end of the year. And you just got to look. I mean, all right, I'm going to give my, my closing soliloquy and I am hot now. So it's going, I don't care if you see my weird man. Um, I'm going to give my closing soliloquy. Some of you guys run away if you don't want to hear it. Guys, I landed in the ICU and I, I you know, I don't know. I kept saying I, I wasn't that sick, but apparently I almost died. Okay. And it was pretty weird and pretty creepy and pretty scary and all that other good stuff. And I do have several friends who passed this year. And, you know, I was younger before and, and I always looked at, you know, life ending or anything like that. And it seems so far away, but the last two years have made it a lot closer. You just got to decide what do you want? Okay, what do you want? And there is nothing wrong with you. If you want to build an empire, we got you. I mean, we have many of our alumni have built empires, literally. You want to be like me and make a couple hundred grand, 300 grand, whatever, you know, uh, and, and, and goof around and travel the world and whatever, that's cool too. You want to just be home with your kids and you need to make $1,000 a month? God bless you. You want to be able to travel to see all those grandbabies, Debbie, and you just need plane fare and that's all you need? Wonderful. It doesn't matter. Don't let all of this stuff and all of these people telling you what, what you're supposed to be doing or what you, how much money you're supposed to be making or all this other stuff. Let all of that go. Because... I got to tell you, and maybe some of the other guys, I know Dean has been through some health issues over the years in the past and other people here. Guys, when you're laying in there, none of that matters. None of it, none of it, none of it. What matters is that you did what was important to you. And this is one of those rare places where we want you to do what's important to you. And we just want to give you the tools and the vehicles to help you do that. We're not here to dictate you need, you don't need to be a rank. You don't need to be a this. You don't need to be a grand poobah. You don't, you don't need to be anything but who you are. But do we want to let a year slip away without evaluating? Have I been true to my own word? Have I decided to master a skill? Because if you did nothing else out of what I taught you tonight, other than become a good promoter, if you become a good promoter, you can get out of a, a job if you wanted to. And again, I don't think everybody has to get out of their job. Um, I think it's great. And maybe you want to RV and you want to save up for that so that when you retire in three years, you can do that, whatever it is. But you can make enough money just being a promoter I was a promoter for years, guys. I didn't become this visible person until 2011. I was in the game for 12 years before any of that happened. But again, social media has changed that anybody can go as large as they want to very quickly. Um, but you, you guys just, just be real and love yourself. Love yourself. You're afraid of the camera, great. Become the best promoter you can be and just don't get on camera. But don't whine about it. I could, I, could, I could not get on camera. I could set up new profiles without my name. So everybody's like, well, you're done, you're nothing. Guys, none of that matters. <laughs> Trust me, none of it matters because what happens is everybody forgets about you. They're looking for the next new, the next new thing. You know, and you've been around for a long time. They think they've heard it. They think they know you. They don't, whatever. I could set up new profiles without my name, without my image, and I could go generate hundreds of leads tomorrow. That's when you have a skill. I had to work hard to build the skill. I had to work hard to build the skill. Um, and guys, don't believe that the, that the world hasn't shifted. I mean, I used to do a live and I'd have 200 people. Like I'd randomly do a live 200 people. Now I'm lucky if I get 14 people. And it's not because it's not me. It's not, you know, it's not because I'm not the same person. It's because the media shifted, the people shifted. And that happens to every single one of us. And in the end, it all comes back to core fundamental skills. And that's what my lead system Pro is about teaching.
You just have to take the work that the gentlemen have done for you and run with it. And somebody heard this training tonight and somebody is going to go nuts with this stuff in January and they are going to have a ball and they are going to become the next person that everybody's going, whoa, because we all watch that, you know, me, Brian, all we watch the leaderboard. We always know who's cooking, who's coming down the road. We see you and we care. That's how we all spotted Dina Solomon. She was like, right in alpha, you know, so like, where did she come from? Holy schmoly, who is this girl? And what she was doing was promoting. Crazy. So, all right, I've kept you guys too long. I hope that you got something good out of this. And I wanna wish you all the most beautiful new year, whether you're gonna be swinging from the chandeliers and partying or whether you're gonna be like me, probably in my, I wish I had feety pajamas. I wanted to say in my feety pajamas, but I don't have any, but uh, in some kind of pajamas, uh, hanging out in front of a fireplace. I wanna wish you all a very beautiful new year. And I want you all to show up in January, ready to rock and roll. First Wednesday of the month, Mr. Brian Finale setting the sale for 2022. I have a funny feeling it's going to be a, a, a big one here. Um, a little restructuring, a little changing, a little tweaking, which is what marketers do, and a lot of big stuff. And just a hint, 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 wink, wink, girl, you can get wink, wink reminder. We have a big event in February. If you guys want to cash in in February, you work now. You don't wait until the promotion in February. And so I don't understand why it didn't work out for me. Work. Guys, thank you so much for coming on, Debbie and Tina. I hope that was- Thank you. Helpful. Thank you for uh, helping out with the multitude and the crowd and everything. And, thank you. Um, I think dog snoring is one of the best sounds I've ever heard. Uh, <laughs> That's my signature, my signature video, him snoring. <laughs> I can't ever do, no, I can't do, you know, do a video you know, without him snoring. Tina, do you know Kimberly Francis? Yes. Yeah, because yes. I, I want to put yes. the two of you in a room and listen to the two of you talk. I love <laughs> yeah. I love it's a Rhode Island thing. So, <laughs> well, thank you so much for having us on here. This was an awesome training, and I hope everyone on here starts their run January 1st. Because you know what? It works. Or it tomorrow. Works. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Or tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. yeah. Get the head start. Get the jump. <laughs> <laughs> right now, right now. Yeah. All right. Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. Coming on. Thank you for volunteering, both of you. And please, uh, for being a victim, you always get to reach out to me. If there's anything I can do to help you as you come down the road with the goals that you have, you let me know personally, and I'll do anything I can. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys later. Everybody Happy have a good night. Take care.